All right, it's time for the October edition of Eye on Terre Haute here on News 10 this morning. Mayor Duke been kind enough for joining us. Thank you, Duke, for joining us. Uh, first of all, recently you're an office announced that trick-or-treating times are good to go. Can I talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you know, we, we looked at a lot of different things, what other communities were doing, what CDC had to say about it, the Indiana State Department of Health and the Bio County Health Department. And we really wanted to do, we wanted to have a Halloween, but we wanted to make sure it would be safe if we did. And so our current ordinance calls for two nights. So basically we decided it'd be best if we just had one night because we really wanted to have Halloween. We feel like it's safe to do that and just made the decision to go with one night as the official night and that we will ask everybody to follow the guidelines that the Beale County Health Department has provided. And what are some of the things that you want to see homeowners and trick-or-treaters both do to stay safe that night? Well, you know, really just being smart. It's common sense kind of things. And so not as much direct interaction between people. If you can prepare some, you know, goodies for the kids and have them set out where there's a space between you and you can restock those kind of things. Uh, making sure the kids wear masks, obviously, besides their Halloween mask. Um, just doing the common sense things. And we know people are going to make decisions based on what's best for their family. Just trying to remind everyone that, yes, you can have a safe Halloween. Uh, just be smart about it. I've had a couple of people ask me about leaf pickup already. I'm sure you've taken some calls already. Are we a little premature to be talking about that right now? Yes, we've still got, you know, we're just now starting to get the leaves falling and we have to wait until at least 50 to 60% of the leaves are, are, are off the trees before we do leaf pick up. But yes, we will be doing it. Um, we typically get started, you know, later in November. So I'd say probably five weeks, six weeks from now, uh, towards the end of the month. Um, we'll just have to wait and see how quickly the leaves fall off the trees. and. Uh, but we will be doing it again, and so uh, no fear on that. It's just, it's all about the timing. When it's we the waiting game at this point. Yes. Okay, exactly. Um, street paving, are we still wrapping up projects around the city, or are you pretty much done for the Yeah, year? we're pretty much done with paving. We're doing some concrete work that will extend on in the sidewalks and some ADA ramps and things like that. But the paving portion of our year is over. Lafayette Avenue, you are working on that. That's got to be exciting for your office to get that project rolled. Yeah, it's a big one, and we knew that it would be a challenge for those property owners up there, those businesses, and everybody else that travels through that area. We've had a few little bumps in the road with traffic flow, and we'll keep making those adjustments. We just ask people to avoid that area if you can, and if you have to go through there, get follow the detour signs. It may add two or three minutes onto your trip, but it'll keep people out of the neighborhood, the Terrytown neighborhood and other neighborhoods up there and, and keep the traffic moving. And we will work on that as hard as we can until the winter comes. And, you know, it's, it's, been, it's we just knew it'd be a project that would have a major impact. Now is the goal to have that project wrapped up by year's end? Well, just part of it. So it won't be part. totally completed until next July, but we'll get that next section done by this winter. And then we'll start to work on some of the other parts, but it'll always be open. One set, one half of it will be open. Okay, very good. Um, the Terre Haute Police Department building, are we any closer on that? Well, we keep making progress. So we're setting some dates right now. Um, we're working on the bonding. So we're going out to get our bond rating. And so all those behind the scenes activities are occurring as we speak. And then it'll all pull together then with specific uh, redevelopment commission meetings and council meetings. So I think the next meeting is uh, the last week of this month and then there'll be meetings in November to uh, bring closure to all of this. All right, very good. And then uh, the convention center, we're starting to see cranes at that construction yeah. site. A lot of exciting things happening there. Finally, just seeing the actual construction, all the underground work has been done. So the demo activities are going on, you know, right now. and and you'll begin to soon start seeing the building rise up from the ground. And so, you know, that's been a project long time coming. I've been working on that for six years personally. And uh, just to see it uh, turn into a real thing is, is very exciting for me. And it will be a huge benefit to our community. There's no question about it. Let's end on a high note. Eating the streets is still going to be happening this weekend. Um, it's been going on for the last several weekends, in fact. It's been very successful. You've seen two, or you're going to see two new businesses open in downtown. Uh, some exciting things happening right now. Absolutely. You know, we 
had a little slow start to getting the eating the streets going, but we worked all that out and it has been very successful. I was down there the first two weekends, didn't make it last weekend, but I intend to be back this weekend. And, you know, I think it's been great. The businesses love it. It's helped them. They've all been struggling. And so we just tried to do something to make people feel safe and yet be able to go out and spend some money with local businesses. So thank you everybody that's been helping make that a success. Thank you, Mayor Duke Bennett, for putting us into your schedule. We really appreciate it. Okay, thank you, John. We'll be right back.